The 2001 Gold Super Final, two-year-old Coltan Gelding Trot. Here they come. There, off and trotting on a break, leaving out of there was Earl Action. Darting first to the front in between trotters, there goes Carlan Buddy with Jim McClure. From the extreme outside, Gothic is leaving, White Sand Titan up near the front. Lock Keeper is right there into that top four, and Total Mayhem trots through in fifth. Duke of York was the sixth one away. That's Monsieur Rene Levesque, parked to the outside from seventh. Rags, two riches, is eighth. Amnesiac is ninth. Earl Action has landed back down trotting in tenth. Carlan Buddy into the first turn, White Sand and Titan remains parked to the outside. The opening quarter was in 28 and 4. Look at this move being put on by Duke of York. Paul McDonnell takes no prisoners and is sending him authoritatively to the lead. Duke of York made a quick swoop to the front. Right there, he's got the lead on the way to the half. Settled out in second was White Sand Titan. Carlan, buddy, now third. Total Mayhem sits in from fourth. Gothic is fifth. Lock Keeper is sixth. And up on the move, Monsieur Rene Levesque is seventh. In the backfield, a rags to riches, Amnesiac. And the gapping trailer is Earl Action out of contention. Duke of York up front in 58 and 2, a 29 and 3 second quarter. And Total Mayhem and George Zernis are coming to call. White Sand Titan back in pocket position. Lock Keeper Waples. And a great spot from second over. Carlan Buddy backing away a bit from fifth. Gothic is off stride from sixth. Rags to Riches is off stride. Amnesiac in the backfield. The distance trailer out of it is Earl Action. The front five are tightly grouping and widest of all, spinning out of the final turn comes Lock Keeper. But they've got to catch Duke of York if they want to get this one. They're off three quarters of 129 and one. Paul McDonnell got the Breeders' Crown champion. A third quarter breather of 30 and four fifths. He's up front by two on White Sand Titan. Then it's back to Carlan Buddy. Lock Keeper on the outside. Duke of York through the stretch is bringing it home in the Gold Super Final. Duke of York and Paul McDonnell win it a length and a quarter. White Sand Titan was second. Lock Keeper third. Carlan Buddy was fourth. 159 and two. Duke of York. And John Bax is having a memorable night. For, uh, Paul and Duke of York. Uh, this year, but uh, some anxious moments going into that first turn. Yeah, it was a little dicey there. It was two or three horses tried making breaks, and uh, we had to dodge a few bullets, but uh, he overcame them, and uh, the rest is history. We were talking a little bit before we went on camera just about uh, what's uh, coming up for this horse, I guess Canadian breeders. Uh, other than that, uh, any idea? No, I think uh, if they decide to go to the, the Canadian breeders, he'll go there, but uh, after that, uh, it'll probably be just shut down until next year. Getting a look at the stretch drive on the monitor at this point, and uh, how were you feeling coming down to the lane, down the lane? Did you feel like your horse uh, had lots to get there? Yeah, you got a third quarter breather there that really helped him out, and uh, I asked him once, once or twice down the lane, and he just responded and had lots left, so I wasn't really worried. All right, uh, so that's Paul McDonnell, driver of Duke of York, winner of the two-year-old Colt Super Final here in uh, race number two. Uh, congratulations to you, Paul, and good luck the rest of the night. John Bax having himself a pretty big night. They're still under inquiry, so we'll wait for the official results. Five Duke of York was back as the second race winner of the 2001 Gold Super Final from Mohawk. The balanced image two-year-old Bay Colt from Armbro Monarch bred by Isabel and Norm Bartanian of Hamilton, Al Libfeld of Pickering, co-owns and is co-breeder, co-owners Marvin Katz and Sam Goldband of Toronto. John Bax has his second gold super final champion of the night, a sweep of the daily double. This one driven by Paul McDonnell. On October 19th, he won the breeder's crown and returns on gold super final night to make it five in 12 this year. Season's earnings of over $671,000 for Duke of York the Winter Circle presentation made by the Honorable Chris Hodgson, Minister of Municipal Affairs of Housing, and Marie Hodgson.